Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, May the 8th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. And therefore, if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's remember, this is a relentlessly optimistic reading. We crank up our positively positiveness and we use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus and manifest our best possible life now with intention. So I thank you in advance for the intention of you clicking that like button and subscribe button. And if you help me do that, you'll help other people to be able to bring in our powerful focus because the more people we bring into the energy of optimism and bring them into a place where they can focus their energy, the more we rise. So thank you in advance for clicking that like button. And I thank you. We move right into the energy. Oh, big energy. Hello, Elvira Knievel, also known as the Chariot, the Cancer Major Arcana, with the Aquarius Major Arcana, the Star Card. So we are coming through the battle victorious, overtaking all obstacles without even coming close to brushing anything. So we're just smoothly clearing all challenges and right into the victory energy of this Chariot. And then we have the star card, which is a yes from the universe for your soul's desire to be granted. So absolutely in the energy, energy of all things being achieved, we are moving in that direction with this positive very first two cards. Let's see what else we have, my darlings. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine Spirit, man, another major arcana, the Magician. The Magician's energy is quintessentially the exact thing we're trying to do. She's bringing in all of her focus into the, the goals she wants to achieve while moving all her energy in the positive to create her exact right path forward, her exact right outcome, seeing only the destination and not worrying about how it's going to happen or trying to form it in her own mind by piece by piece, right? So we have to let the universe kind of collectively pull the energy in like a magnet. And the, the way you pull in that energy is by focusing on the end result that you want to achieve. So there it is. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we got two of the three cards out already. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor, with one card still in the, uh, <laughs> in the hold position, with our last but not least card of the Princess of Cups. So we can kind of see how this is going, even though we don't know what this one is yet. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is saying you have the ability to focus on the positive and become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So that's where you see the end result and you continue to focus on it and, and allow yourself to believe that anything is possible and then the universe can help you create all things to align in the exact right timing. So this is that mantra that I say, I know that I know that I know that the universe continuously conspires in my favor. It brings me exactly what I need, exactly when I need it, every single time. And then you have the emperor, which is the Aries Major Arcana. It's also the energy of being very much in a place of grounded, fully formed energy. So this is it coming to pass or coming to fruition. And the Princess of Cups is the affirmation from the universe you will be continued to be provided for as she brings you this cup offering all that you may need. And we don't know what this one is, but we're about to. So you have non-attachment, which is meaning don't try to control how the universe brings it to pass. Remember, we don't know all that exists. <laughs> we are not omnipotent in our human experience, right? So, I am certain, remember this one, the affirmation, I am certain that I will reach my goal while letting go of how it will happen. That's all you have to do. 
It's just be certain in the outcome and don't worry about the collective things that have to come together because that's trying to micromanage the universe. And you don't have to do that. <laughs> we get down and dirty trying to really control things, don't we? Universe, it's showing up. The universe will show me the right path to take to reach my goal. And this is absolutely true. It will bring things to light that you didn't even know existed. And remember, the universe is infinite. So everything is possible. Everything. Things that you haven't seen or heard of ever before are possible. If you believe. <laughs> that's part of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Believing that that's true. And you see what she's holding here is the beautiful energy of Metatron's cube or what some know as the Merkaba energy which is the all-knowing, all-seeing, all-understanding of the Akashic Record and all that ever was or, is, or will be. Was, is, or will be, right? So that means everything is coming to bear to bring you what you need, but you've got to believe in that. Believe that it's possible, that all things are possible. Earth, this is a really good energy. Um, understanding that we are of this frequency that is... A, beautiful connection that's why we're on this planet the frequency of earth activates our deep connection to the physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature so being connected to mother gaia in the energy of the earth and all the na nature and all the beautiful things we see you know there is some wisdom somewhere that has programmed all of this the dna of everything Right? Is all about, about everything that exists here has DNA. Even the air you breathe. If you don't believe me, look it up. <laughs> so, judgment. Let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough! Exclamation point. It is time to unlock all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential have been restricted by structure and method for far long enough. There is no right or wrong way. Just be you. So stop trying to regulate yourself and constantly control every single thing. There we go. There's our card. Courage. You don't have to, ha you don't have, to have the answer to how. You just have to have the, the heart for what. What do you want? Stay in focus of that and believe that it's possible. Dare to be different. We have courage here. Dare to be different. To make mistakes. Create, for it is in creating that you exist. In this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Mm. <laughs> like I'm psychic. <laughs> Go forth and be true to yourself, for it's the only, it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. So you have to be, have the courage to truly stand in your authentic energy and not compare yourself with other people's race. You run your race. That's the one you're meant to do here, not the other person's and not be like the other person. Be you. And that's the action energy of the Knight of Wands coming in. So it's saying all of this stuff is aligning for you to be able to take action. As it approaches, you will know because you'll feel compelled. So just know it's all forming just right for you. And I hope you all have a very, very beautiful and blessed Monday. I send you lots of love, lots of light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity to you all. I'll see you again tomorrow, my friends. Namaste.